Guys, well, guess what? Back at it again with another episode of Snap Political. So glad you're in the building. Before I go, if you continue to find value on this channel, please subscribe, share the videos, keep engaging with me in the comment section. I absolutely love talking to you guys in the comment section because we be chatting it up. And even those who don't agree, we still can chat it up. Definitely, so I love that. So what do we have up next? And I got Sibo Chocolate over here with me, guys. He hanging Couple out guest appearances. for a little bit, for a little bit, for a little bit. So... Okay, what we got? Let's tell the people what we got. So, um, news. I, go ahead. I was going to say, before you tell me what we got, is that I've been covering stuff like this on the channel. You know, go and check out the clip where the kids are straight wilding out. People are straight wilding out going in, you know, the snatch and grab type of vibe since they want to call it reparations. Breaking the law now is called reparations. Where they do that at? Anyway, so. It was. So everybody saw, not everybody, for most people that are paying attention, there was this um, supposed to be influence. Her name was Meatball. First of all, Meatball. And um, she got locked up for, she was recording the whole thing when they were breaking in and looting, looting this store. She ended up getting locked up. They, I, I'm sure she, you know, incriminated herself with that footage. So now her attorney is saying that um, is giving criticism, is criticizing for um, saying looting is is racist. And I think that if I'm not on this, my mistaken, this reporter is, is roasting them. Because people have gotten so yeah, I mean, damn ridiculous yes, that it, uh, it, you can't. Come on, come on. And that's, that's what I'm really not liking now is how the race card is being used all out of context, all in the wrong for the wrong thing. Mm. Social media influencer who is not the person you see <laughs> in the images next to me, uh, named Deja Blackwell, also known as Meatball online, was arrested after live streaming a crowd of people looting stores in Philadelphia's city center last week. Now, her lawyer is accusing people who are criticizing her of being racist. So, before we get to the lawyer's claims. Let's get to what happened with the looting, how this woman was arrested and why she was arrested, and then you can judge for yourselves. Now, what happened? So groups of looters hit multiple locations in Philadelphia, including an Apple store, 18, 18 state liquor stores, um, pharmacies, Lululemon, and more. Authorities ended up arresting 52 individuals and they even recovered an illegal gun. Three of those arrested happened to be teenagers. The looting took place over a span of eight hours. And while wow. I mentioned city center, it started in city center and then expanded to other neighborhoods, including Northeast Philly and West Philly. Mm. Now here's an example, just so you see with your own eyes, what the scenes looked like as the looting took place. Look at that. Wow. Unbelievable. For some stuff. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. Yes. Everybody must eat. Uh huh. Uh huh. So what? So is what do you call at, that? But you said that girl, is she security? So what do you call that? I mean, come on, let's be real, people. What do you call this type of behavior and what is the cause? I'm going to let you think about it. Free our phones! Free our phones! Free our phones! Look, look, security running! Oh, I saw Look what security going to do with that. Now, the woman you hear yelling free iPhones and kind of laughing off what's happening is Deja Blackwell. Um, at one point, uh, she's heard saying, tell the police they either lock me up tonight or it's going to get lit. It's going to be a movie. Let me tell you something. One thing on a side note that let me tell you how stupid people is, and especially these these people that the store has an inventory if they want to. They know what phones they have. They can call in and now all those phones can be reported stolen. So when you activate those phones, it might not even activate. Or if it does, you get some warnings or you um or or it needs to be confiscated or it just don't work. It can be it's control over those over that of inventory. Of course. I don't even think any phone that was stolen out of the store, I just don't believe it's going to work because they 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 have capability in tracking all of those phones. 
And to be able to get the phones turned on, you got they got to be at a, a service. And once they see the phone wasn't purchased, I mean, there's going to be some way that Apple is going to block the phone from even being turned on. Unless you got a, a computer geek who really knows what to do to go in there and change everything. But think how many people, they're probably, they're probably selling these online to people. That's why you got to be mindful when you purchase your electronics. Your average person is not going to be able to do that. And, and that's true. This is absolutely, and I'm going to say it, and you know I've said it on this channel before, the lowest vibration that in God's created world yep. that, there, that there is. Yeah. I'm sorry. And yeah. you all know that. So those of you who agree, great. And those of you who don't, it doesn't matter because it is what it is. This. That is the lowest behavior that a human can actually perform for no reason. Do not take something that does not belong to you. The word of God talks about obey the laws of the land. You know what you know what a, a shrimp and lobster do? You know what they stay in the ocean? The bottom. Mm -hmm. Eating up the dirt and the garbage at the bottom. I know but lobsters be good though. No, that's I'm saying I'm, <laughs> I'm talking as far as their role in right. the kingdom. Yeah. They're just eating the dirt. So are y'all people saying that that are rhyming and that you're that you're simply dirt? I mean that you going for the crumbs and the trash or the ground? But wait. And what's even lower than that are people that condoning it and saying that someone who speaks out about the low vibrating behavior is racist. That's the worst part of all. Not the not the people who's doing the crime, racist. the foolery. It's the ones that want to act like it's not what it is. That is the problem we're having in the world today. Racism. <laughs> how is that? Ra how just and righteous is becoming racism. That is just lets you know the and, enemy's work and is the, real. Right. And if the left keep calling racism for everything, people are not going to take real racism seriously. Exactly. Because it does still exist. We are not negating that fact at all. It does exist. But how are true instances now that really are that going to be addressed and handled? It's going to be overlooked and pushed under the rug because now they want to use reverse racism. Y'all better wake up and smell the coffee. Ridiculousism. Well, Meatball, you said it, you got arrested, and now she and her lawyer are crying about it. Uh, she could also be seen walking with the crowd as they moved from one store to another. So uh, Deja Blackwell has been charged. She was arrested, as I mentioned. Uh, what are the charges? Burglary, <laughs> conspiracy, criminal trespass, riot, criminal mischief, criminal use of, of communication them. facility. A receipt of stolen property and disorderly conduct. As she should have The 21-year-old was later bailed out by her mother. That happened early Thursday morning. Unsurprisingly, the influencer uh, with close to 650,000 followers wow. across Instagram and TikTok uh, wow. got some blowback. Luckily, her followers were um, really not appreciative of her involvement in this. Well, good for them. And now Blackwell's Glad. lawyer is accusing those criticizing her of Racism. Please. Please. Because had that person been white or Latino or Muslim, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. the, w the commentary would be different, right? Yeah, it would. Except it wouldn't. I don't think it would be. How? The idea no. that she. The commentary would not be different. What? If, if they were um, white and Latino, it wouldn't be no different because they still caused a riot. They still influenced other people to commit crimes, steal, they damaged people's property. It wouldn't be no different. I don't think it would be different. Mm. You think so? You talking about how people felt about the situation? Yeah, because she's saying the lawyer is saying that if it was another race that did the same situation that she did, it would be handled different. I don't think it would be handled different. Not at that level. It's, that's not racism. That's so are you, are you confused? Because no, no, you're kind of no, no, going no, against no, what you're saying. No, 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 no. It's not. No, 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 no. It's nothing racism, man. It's just pure ignorance and theft. It doesn't matter but, the color of the person who committed the crime at this level. It's still going to be the same treatment. That's how I feel. It went. Yeah, Do you yeah, feel that way? No, no. I, it'll be the same treatment. I just think um, it would have been. No, it is. It would have still been the same treatment. It would have still been blown up on online. People yes. still been talking about it. It's still been look ridiculous. So black crime ain't ain't different between white crime. It's still crime. Is that, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I just want to make sure you understood okay. what the lady was trying to say. Yeah. She is now facing criticism and prosecution simply because she happens to be a black woman is ridiculous. It sure is. And yet another example of providing cover 
for illegal behavior, bad behavior, by using and weaponizing race. And it's disgusting. Yes, it's disgusting it when it disgusting. happens, and I'm sick of it. Yeah. Yes. So let me give you what her lawyer had to say. Her name's Jessica Mann, managing attorney at uh, Shaka Johnson. It sickens me to witness the media's complicity in what can only be described as an all out assault on black and brown people <laughs> as their character and actions are mercilessly vilified. <laughs> can you guys cue up the video again, please? We're gonna watch it again. I'm gonna read that quote again, and then we're gonna go to the video again. Let's read the quote again. Jessica Mann is quoted as saying, it sickens me to witness the media's complicity in what can only be described as an all out assault on black and brown people as their character and actions are mercilessly vilified. That's ridiculous. Now let's that take a look at the character ridiculous. and actions of Meatball. Let's watch. <laughs> So what type of character is this? Is this integrity? Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. Is this honor? Everybody must eat. Is this respect for people's property? Is this self-respect? Let's just say that. Is this self-respect? Do you respect yourself by doing stuff like this? Absolutely not. Is this, what character, what principal character trait is this mirroring for any other human to want to emulate that vibrates on a higher level? And if you vibrate with them, you think it's okay, then <laughs> keep, keep vibrating low. And then well, my thing is people quit to call racism, but that's a, your actions will be why some people, some group might call you certain names. Look at the actions. Exactly. Exactly. Free out Free out of Look, look, security running. Oh, I saw. Now, mind you, the media didn't post that video all over the internet. She did. Meatball posted that video all over the internet. Racism. So, was Meatball vilifying herself? Right. I would say so. By the way, the lawyer so man also argued that the media should have focused on how Blackwell was doing nothing more than capturing the raw reality of public outrage when she streamed the events on September 26th. Now what she's referring to is uh, the context is a, a case involving a, a police shooting. Uh, the police officer uh, killed a 27 year old man by the name of Eddie. Irizari during a traffic stop last month. The police initially said that Irizari had lunged at the officers while outside of his vehicle, but later admitted that that actually wasn't the case. His family has now filed a wrongful death lawsuit. Blackwell did refer to Eddie at least twice during her live stream, so I want to give you the full context of that. I also want to tell you I don't care, okay? You don't respond to injustice by mm. looting 18 liquor stores so and an true. Apple store. So true. Right. Okay, and by the so way, true. there were peaceful protests in regard to that situation. And those peaceful protests were not in any way tied to the looters who decided to, you know, exploit the situation That's right. in order to engage in the criminality that you just watched. And the reason why I'm so angry about this at this point is because honestly, our side of the political aisle loves to provide cover for it, and I th I find it gross, and I'm done doing it. I'm mm. done, I'm done trying to be understanding toward that perspective. I'm not understanding anymore. It is destroying communities. It is mostly victimizing majority black and brown communities. Yeah. Stores are shutting down. People are losing their jobs, yep. and then you have these wannabe revolutionaries streaming day in and day out, providing cover for this garbage. Right. That's right. I'm not into it. Amen. It's stupid, it and is. I'm glad she got arrested. Great. Me too. Jenk, what do you think? So when you say to the cops, "Come and arrest me," and then they come and arrest you, <laughs> I don't think you get to complain at that point. Hello. Um, you so got your you wish. couldn't have been any clearer. Uh, so okay. I actually think that when they overuse racism like this and they say someone who's on tape saying, everybody get free iPhones, everybody go in and break in, you're you're only targeting her because she's black and you're racist. Well, that's the boy who cried wolf and it does great damage yes. to the cause of actually fighting against racism. That's right. And it's, it's, it itself is a little bit racist because oftentimes you'll, 
hear people, and I get it, this is a defense attorney who's trying to make a case for someone who's on tape and, and indefensible. But it's a cheap, terrible way to make that case because it hurts the rest of the black community and all people of color. Right. Because they say, oh, you're prosecuting this criminal, uh, and that's because you hate black people. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Black people have been targeting this country by prosecution a lot of times when they did not deserve it. And we've covered those cases hundreds of times here, right? But when you just defend all criminals and say it's because they're black, you're almost saying that, oh, right, like that that somehow black people do this. Right. And hence, if you target a, if you prosecute a criminal, you're prosecuting black people. No, right. no, you're not prosecuting all black people. You're pr prosecuting that black person. Yeah. By the way, in an effort to protect the rest of the community right. who happens to be black and brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look, Dr. Martin Luther King uh, said that riots are the voice of the unheard. And there's a lot of truth to that. And in the 1960s, people were uh, genuinely outraged. After George Floyd, a lot of people were genuinely outraged. Uh, and, and it has happened throughout uh, American history, right? And so as it's painful to see the fires, et cetera, and the d damage that's caused, we there's a part of you that understands the rage and what led to it, especially after a massive injustice, right? But looting is not the voice of the unheard. First of all, we just heard you. You were on tape, right? You were very loud and clear. Yeah, pretty and much. you're talking about everybody's got to eat. Everybody's got to eat, and you're like super proud about all the uh, looting going on. What part of the unheard is about stealing iPhones? Right, mm -hmm. it's actually the voice of opportunists and scumbags. Exactly. That's what it's the voice of. Let's just and, keep and it low take, level. And when you take like significant rage that comes with the injustice that has been visited upon black people in this country, and then you use it to steal iPhones and then make excuses where you hide behind the color of your skin, that is not at all helpful to the cause. No. So. No, and, and, and guys, do not think that a defense attorney for this particular person or maybe a couple of loud voices, which I haven't even heard yet, uh, online represents the whole community. I There's hope no not. way in the world. I hope Look, not. and it's again, it's deeply insulting to people of color. They also have eyes and ears. They just yep. saw her on tape. Exactly. Okay. Yep. <laughs> And she doesn't represent all black people. That's no. insane. insane. Those looters do not represent all uh, black people. That's insane. That's okay. Not. So they took advantage of a situation. They shouldn't have done that. And then she had the audacity to basically rub it in everybody's face. And I'm not shedding one tear that she got arrested for something that was obviously criminal. So much so that she bragged about it and asked the cops to arrest her. Now, a few final details on this. Uh, Philadelphia's interim police commissioner, John Stanford, uh, accused Blackwell of leading a caravan of looters from store to store, as well as committing burglaries herself and encouraging others to commit burglaries. Now, as I mentioned, she was arrested, so she did spend some time in jail before her mother bailed her out. And so later, she uh, posted on social media about it and said, I've never been through nothing like that in my life. What happened? I need some sleep. I'm scared. I'm traumatized. Never again in my life. You know what's also traumatizing? Working in one of those stores that's uh, getting looted exactly. by a giant group of people right. who have no concern for anyone inside the store, no concern mm -hmm. for the workers. As I mentioned, uh, one of the individuals uh, had a gun on them. Luckily, no one was uh, actually oh hurt gosh. as a result of that. Uh, but she also told local reporters that she never wants to go back to jail. She said, quote, I just prefer, you know, never loot again, stay out of trouble. Oh, really? So apparently, so apparently um, serving a little bit of time behind bars does serve as a deterrent for some. And I certainly hope that's yeah. the case for Meatball. Any final well, words, Jane? Yeah, I, she's almost doing an ad for law enforcement. Uh, you know, law enforcement works. Uh, people love to brag and ha ha, we're stealing <laughs> stuff and it's so much fun. And then wow. all of a sudden they spend a little bit of time in jail and it turns out, for some people at least, that this scares them straight a little bit. Right. And then all of a sudden, she's like talking about never again and I'm not gonna loot. Good, yeah. that's, that's how it's supposed to work. And you're not supposed to brag about committing crimes on tape. And guys, it's, this is not just like guys, like it bothers me deeply that they made this about race when it's about criminality. Yeah. And I hate that those two things are are now getting intermingled when they yes. have no business being intermingled. Yep. That's right. Okay, but on top of that, this is also about our sick need for fame. 
Yeah. In the past, people would know not to brag about crimes. Yeah. Right. Now people do it all the time because yeah. they got to get more famous. They yeah. got to get more famous. And that is yeah. so and, But by the way, if you think at the end crazy. of the day that this is going to be a bad for Meatball, I'm not sure that that's the case. She's going to get fame that she didn't have before. And at the end of the day, she no, might think that it was a win. She needs to pay for her crime and more that's than deeply one day disturbing. in jail. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Because what's going to happen is the attorney is pretty much going to is they're using that to get her off to say it was an injustice and they're going to use that that little loophole well i to, hope to the judge has more common sense than that they're the ones with the high with the higher thinking so they they should be able to discern that's nothing but a bunch of hogwash but they said she was also so what she didn't record she didn't record herself grabbing stuff she just recorded herself on that phone but they they said she was taking herself. Well, yeah, but she got, they said, um, stolen property. They were able to, I guess, recover the, prop, the stolen right. goods, so they knew she did. Yeah. So this, and what really f frustrates me, infuriates me about this is that now when black people want to go to high-end stores who have the money to pay for the high-end goods are going to be looked at a little to the left, to, to a little crazy. Yeah. No, no, that's true because I've kind of started to feel that just a little bit. I'm like, why is this? This Why does this feel? This feel a little weird. Like, like um, why you got to watch so extra? I got money. We went to a jewelry store and I was looking at some jewelry and then all of a sudden I see a black security guard coming there. And I was thinking to myself, I didn't see you him before when there was other people in here. And... Y'all know me. I'm vocal everywhere. It don't matter. I'm on, on camera. I'm the same person in a store, on the street. If I feel Get injustice, if I feel <laughs> like something ain't right, I'm going to open my mouth and speak. Now, I think I'm smart. I think I'm just not going to do it in every situation. I pick and choose my battles. And that day I did not say anything, but I just had my little eyebrow, my little spidey senses came up. And that's because of this. It's because of the foolery. It's because mm -hmm. people have been looting. People have been um, going and breaking in stores in L.A. I got videos on that. Yeah. So that don't don't put me in that. Don't black people. All black people don't think alike. And that's in every race. No. All the same people of the same skin color, ethnicity, racial background do not think the same. No, they don't. But please don't include me in a low vibrating um in, the, in those low vibrating in that category right there because that's not us when we go to stores we pay yeah period period we only that, like you only look you only like window shopping so that's how i know no i don't you i'm not the one that shopping. no it's like if i don't have the cash to go and buy what i want i'm not doing it. and and really we shop online we even order from the high, high end stores online guys it's like it's so much better online but we like to go sometimes or frequent the store it's still it keeps people employed you know but this, this, that is what's given black people who vibrate on a higher level a bad, uh, a bad, bad name. name. And that's, that's what I don't like the most. Oh. So, all right, guys, <laughs> this was a video that we had to get on here and talk about. And I want it. Um, Sibo on here with me because this is a great one that we needed to talk about with you guys. So let me know how you feel in the comment section. This is not acceptable. So pl I'm just, I'm just saying, y'all already know me because I don't been in there and I don't kind of let a couple of y'all have it in my comment section. So. If you condone the behavior, it's best for you not to even comment because I'm not even interested in your comment, really. But those who think positive, who are thinkers, who are vibrating on a, on a higher level, let's engage in a conversation about this. And what can we do as, as citizens in our city and state, because this is going on across the USA, to really fight against this and protect those people who work hard to open up their businesses and feed their family and put clothes on their family's back. All right, guys, appreciate you for hanging out with me. Come back again for another episode of Snap Political. We're going to have some more guests on. An uncle coming to town, y'all. Oh, man. <laughs> y'all ain't, I don't know if y'all ready for them. I mean, I've told them before, Jesse May and Uncle Jethro, they're going to be coming up for the holidays. They they might peek in uh, this month. So be, look, be on the lookout for them. Subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Love you guys. Bye. Yeah.